What's up there? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Irene Kazambi and this is the DIY Corner. So today we'll be doing another home improvement uh, DIY and this video is inspired by your do essentials here on YouTube. If you'd like some inspiration on DIY home improvements, I would recommend that you check out her channel because she has really amazing content. Without further ado, let's get into this video. I'll be using four hangers and these two pieces of wood that I got from Alizy Susan that I've had in the house for a while and I've not been using it. And we start by preparing the stand from the hangers. So first I removed that piece of wood and the hook from all the four hangers. Then I took two of the hangers and joined them using mending plates. I've had this driller for like a year and I only got to use it once to drill the the wall to hang the TV and I'm really happy that finally you can get some more use for it. If you don't have a driller at home, you can definitely improvise. Maybe you can use a nail and a hammer to make the, the holes. But you need to be careful so that the wood doesn't break. Also make sure that whatever you're using to make the holes is almost the same size if not a little bit smaller than the size of your screws i'm mentioning this because I, at first i made a mistake where i used a drill bit that was much thicker than my screws so be careful with that so yeah i'm joining the two hangers with the screws and mending plate like i mentioned Then I added the third and the fourth hangers to that, like you can see in the video, using corner mending plates. So I will let you see how I did that all part and then I will see you somewhere in the middle of the video. Here there was no space to add another mending plate so what I did is I drilled a hole through um, the hangers and then used a long screw to, to join them together. And 
as I was editing this video, I noticed so many ways I would have done this differently, like attaching these hangers together for the stand and how I could have saved some mending plates. I, I didn't have to use all those uh, mending plates that I used, but uh, it's still okay because the stand came out really strong and I, yeah, I'm happy about that. This is how the stand looked once I was done and it's quite strong. I had planned to use this resistance for another project but I'll find a replacement for that. So what I did is I separated the two woods. Um, I didn't have a tool to remove whatever is joining them so that's why I'm using the scissors to kind of uh, pull the screws out. It took some time but finally I succeeded. And as you can see here, I'd already painted the wider part white and it has some holes because I had already started using it for the other project, uh, but I decided to, to use it here anyway. So I used the corner scrolls, oh, sorry, the corner mend pla mending plates to join the stand to uh, this uh, wood, piece of wood. And... I used about four of them to make sure that it was strong enough. And I repeat on the same for the other side. When I separated the little Susan, I wasn't able to remove that metallic thing that you can see there um, because I didn't have the right tools for it and I didn't want to buy any tools. I'm really trying as much as possible to use what I already have in the house. So what I did is I cut out circular parts of a cardboard box and attached them to the bottom so that it can give it some stability because that metallic thing was making it unstable so after attaching it using the screws i trimmed off the excess and now as you can see it can start by itself it's now stable so to hide the imperfections of the, the added pieces of cardboard box i used another piece of cardboard box that i cut out and rolled it as you can see and i attached it on the side using homemade glue and i'll be sharing the recipe for this homemade glue in the next video um it's not my recipe it's a recipe i saw online i duplicated it and it worked and it doesn't hurt for me to share with you guys though i will also give you the link to the original video i applied the glue along the length of the old piece of uh, cardboard box and i applied enough not too much and not too little and then wrapped it around um, the area that i wanted covered um, the downside of this glue is it's not instant, so to ensure, to give it time to hold, I used a piece of cello tape to hold it. I had some white paint in the house that I had bought to correct a certain spot that I had damaged in the apartment. So I used it to paint the stand 
but you can use whatever you have like it's a matter of preference so for me because the theme in our apartment is gray and white this really was perfect but also i wanted to spend the least amount as possible so for this whole project the only thing that i bought was the mending plates the rest i used what i had in the house and that's the beauty of diy so yeah after painting i left it to dry overnight and these were the results there are some imperfections on top from the schools and also from because i used this wood for the project that i was telling you about but i don't mind them and if i feel like i mind them at some point i might decide to cover it so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching please like comment share subscribe and turn on the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye